Kolkata Airways presents ESPN Cricket for T20 timeout. Time for us to look ahead to a big game. Bangladesh against Afghanistan. Afghanistan on a serious high after the ease with which they put Sri Lanka aside. And will they do the same to another Asian powerhouse in the form of Bangladesh who have their own troubles? We will discuss those with Sharia Nafis in just a moment. God of Sundaraman is with me. Sharia is very well connected with the Bangladesh team. Now, she's going to give us a lot of answers that we have questions to. You've got a big question for him, GS. What is it from a Bangladesh point of view? Yeah, Bangladesh have had a pretty tough time in the T20 uh, uh, format of late. A lot of chopping and changing. I think their three main stalwarts, Shakib al Hassan, Mushfikur mm. and Muhammadullah are still there. They kind of form a very strong middle order. But what's at the top and what's below them is something which is, uh, which even I don't think they have a settled unit at the top, mm. which is very, very important in T20s. And over the last, uh, since the last T20 World Cup, the strike rate, the batting strike rate of Bangladesh is the lowest among all the 10 teams, which is about 110. So that's not a very good sign considering India, which is at the, the best team, which teams want a benchmark to. Yeah. They strike at 144. So that's the kind of gap that Bangladesh have to bridge. So it's going to be tough on their, uh, on their batters. I think that's their biggest challenge. All right. Then let's ask Sharia Nafis, who fills the rest of those batting spots? From what GS says, Sharia, that there are only three players, and we know those three players so well now, <laughs> that we can say with certainty are going to make that 11. What does the Bangladesh batting lineup look like for you? A uh, recent tournament has given an opportunity to Anamul Hog Bijoy, who has been uh, uh, scoring prolifically in domestic circuit. Uh, when uh, Tamim Iqbal uh, announced his retirement from the T20s, uh, it's a very, very, very big shoe to fill in. Uh, but you know, a T20 is such a game uh, where player comes and performs and gets settled down. So, Anamul Hawk Bijoy is there, uh, Mohammed Naim Sheikh is there. So, uh, and we have got some of new kids like Afif has been in uh, in this squad for such a long time and he has been batting number three, number four. Um, uh, so, uh, yes, Saqib, Mushfiq, and Mahmudullah gives the team a solid middle order. Uh, but in a T20 match, the top order has to perform really well. And I'm uh, very, very, uh, very confident that the new guys who are given chances will take the opportunity and uh, start well for Bangladesh. Hmm. All right. Now, the numbers that Gaurav brings up, Sharyar, about the overall strike rate, the top order strike rate being lower than any other hmm. team. Is that really such a concern in these conditions? We saw what Fazal Farooqi did to Sri Lanka's top order in the opening game. Would you be looking at those numbers and be worried and say Bangladesh need to play the power game that a lot of other teams play? Or would you be saying, no, that's all right, because this is a very different uh, equation now and the conditions are such that if they can play the 150-160 game, they're in control. Ronok, uh, it totally depends on a day. Uh, the condition you are playing, uh, the opponent you are playing, yes, if an uh, uh, opponent is scoring 200 against you, then you have to chase it down. Uh, you have to keep one thing in mind that Bangladesh plays their 50% T20s at home, which every team does. And you have to adapt with the home condition. Uh, recently, in uh, some of the uh, away tours, yes, Bangladesh hasn't been that successful. But if you look at the T20 record at home, and uh, they have beat some of the formidable sides. Sometimes the wickets at home uh, suits Bangladesh team and that is why the overall T20 strike rate is a bit low. Uh, but having said that, I believe uh, in a tournament like this where the, all the powerhouses are playing and even you talk about the World Cup, uh, you have to adapt to the condition. If the condition is allowing you to score in a 200 strike rate, you have to do that. And if the condition is allowing you to score in a strike rate of 110, you have to adapt with the situation. Uh, you cannot go out of the situation and play uh, play out of your skin. What is important that the players go there, they are confident and they are adapting with the situation. And whatever comes to you, it, you take it, take the opportunity in both hands and do as best as you can. And in a given in a day where Bangladeshi players play at their best, they are as good as any other team in the world. 